Hi guys, it's me, Contessa. I'm a crystal healer and Reiki master. Welcome to my corner. I'm really happy about today because we're going to kind of work with a little bit of a different subtle energy that kind of come up at a beautiful time like this. After all, it is October and we see a whole bunch of orange. And orange is definitely associated with our sacral chakra. Well, we have been working on a lot of base chakra stuff, so it's about time to move on up from our structured um, root and bump our way up. Your sacral chakra is amazing and it's just the level up from your base chakra. It's really fun when it works because it's about curiosity and exploration. It's about having good, healthy relationships with mom, daughter, father, son, and so forth. It's also about the different kind of energy that we understand that we have to convert and know that certain things need to pass on so that new beginnings can come. When we have a sacral chakra that is damaged or blocked or smogged, we're going to have things like, you know, for us women, menstrual difficulties, endometriosis, a few people have experienced um, having to have hysterectomies because of this, as well as type of, you know, stiffness um, and a lot of reproductive um, kind of, you know, issues. It also has to do with a little bit of poor boundaries with people as well as kind of social skills. So we want to make sure that this kind of gets bumped up and, you know, kind of uh, working with our senses. So my very favorite go-to rock actually is associated with this chakra and I love it to pieces and I just, every time I see it, it really, it just fills me with this gratitude that I can't even express. So it makes all this different, you know, persistence and wisdom start coming around and I absolutely love it. Today I also wanted to show or share with you that there's another way to, to help balance this and that is using aromatherapy. So aromatherapy is a really fantastic easy way for you to clear your aura and balance this chakra. So since I love sage so much, I was really ecstatic to find out that the essential oil of sage would work in helping balance this. So with an essential oil, you can do a lot of different things with it. You can put it in your bath water, you can just lightly rub it on your fingers, or you can just add it to many different um, things around your house that will make you feel better and balanced. Usually you can find something. I like the Now Essential Oils. They're pretty good. And it would, you don't really need all that much to feel the balance. So let's get out some carnelian. Yay! I'm excited. I love my carnelians. And of course, we haven't had sage here in a while, so we got to bring out the sage. Ah! <laughs> Saged up. <laughs> Okay, so carnelian is a lot about being grateful. And I know I've gone over this stone a lot, but that's because I'm pretty grateful and I really love carnelians. With carnelians, you can sit and just kind of go over the stone and just really relax with it. We don't need a whole bunch of carnelian to really feel the effects that this rock works on us. We just kind of want to go with it. I have another one that's absolutely magnificent too. And it's got a little bit of um, blue lace agate right there kind of mixed in it. So since this does work with our throat, this is a fantastic stone to sit and work with. I love it. This is also the element of water. So remember that when we come and become calm within ourselves, then we have that calmness of water. It's a good time to really come in to your body, relax with it, feel your breath around you, and let this nurturing start to kind of ease into this. We're having a lot of bit of change with this Mercury retrograde, so I know a lot of us can really use this negativity removal and to bring in a whole bunch of fun balance. I hope you have a fantastic week. If you haven't subscribed, now's a great, great time to do some, and I love seeing your rocks. So much, much love, and thank you so much for letting me share my rocks today. Mwah.